for this data. So for that, bring it. So you see, statistics, ANOVA, one way unstacked. One way unstacked. You see here, the rural, town, city, the separate. This is unstacked. This one is stacked items. First column refers to the factors, second column the corresponding observation. The same thing here it is nothing but 1, 2, 3. Here all multiple threes are here, the factors. Okay. So rural, town, city. Is there any significant difference among these three regions? So for that, to concept ANOVA, just you click where? Stack, ANOVA, one way, unstack. So now you select this rural to city, rural, town, city. Now click it. Okay. It is also it is normally distributed. If you want to four diagrams in one way, you can click four in one. Okay, this is display automatically. Normal plot. The normal plot is already checked. You see, stacked, ANOVA, one way unstacked. You refer the comparison. This is automatically default to tick If you want, you can select this three in one. Individual plots. Here three in one. Since it is a stand stacked items. Now you click OK. OK. So three plots. Histogram of the residual, this also almost normal. Almost normal. Now you see the values and the refer the ANOVA table where it is rural, town, city. What's your p value? 504. What's your conclusion? This also hypothesis is rejected. Hypothesis rejected means what is your inference? Huh? There is a significant difference among the region course among the students. There is a significant difference among the scores of the students. This is rural students, town students, city students. There is a significant. So now you find which one create more significant. You see the mean value? Rural 58, town 60, city 68. So rural, town almost the same. Is it? Rural, rural students and town students scores almost same scores. But uh, city students score more high. More score more more than that rural and town. City students scores more than that rural and town students. It's clear. This is one way classification. Either stacked or unstacked. Similarly, you can perform here two ways. Treatment of priority observation. What is that? 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3. That is first row. 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3. Second row observations. It is clear. Treatment block. You consider row wise treatment, column wise block. So, how many treatment, how many blocks? 3 treatment, 3 blocks. It is clear. 3 treatment, 3 blocks. Then, how many observations? 9 observations. 9 observations. So, how to perform? Two-way analysis of variance. ANOVA, two-way. You see, observation, row factor, treatment, block. You see the title? Treatment, row factor, here, block, column factor, corresponding observations, response. So, row, column, vector. If you want to mean, you display the means, whatever you want, you can display. Similarly, graph, four in one, whatever you want, you select, okay. So now you see, this is two way treatment, two three, three treatments, treatment minus one, three blocks, three minus one, error, then minus one, b minus one, nah. then total nine minus one. So now you see, this is the p value, pi naught three two, pi naught three two for treatment. 0.129 for block. So what about here? There are two hypotheses. All the treatments are equal effects. All the block effects are equal. Other is even all treatment effects are homogeneous. All block effects are homogeneous. This is your hypothesis. T1 equal to T2 equal to T3. Similarly, B1 equal to B2 equal to B3. 
to an hypothesis. There is no significant difference among the treatments. There is no significant difference among the blocks. This is your hypothesis. You can frame. So based on your p value, first p value pi naught three. This is also less than pi naught five. So the hypothesis, treatment hypothesis rejected. What about here? So greater than pi naught five. So the block hypothesis not rejected. Block hypothesis not rejected. That means what? There is no evidence to reject the block hypothesis. There is no evidence to reject the block hypothesis. There is no evidence to reject the block hypothesis. But here the treatment hypothesis rejected. So based on that you can give the inference. Rejected means there is a significant difference among the treatments. What is the inference? There is a significant difference among the treatments. What about that? There is no significant difference among the blocks. All the block effects are equal. That hypothesis may be accepted. All the block effects are equal. Here, the treatment effects are not equal. This is your inference. If you want, you can refer the mean. You see, the treatment hypothesis rejected. You see, 58, 64, 63. So these two are equal. So the hypothesis are rejected based on the first treatment only. Since the first treatment has a mean 58, the remaining two treatments means are almost equal. That's why based on the first treatment, the hypothesis rejected. The entire treatment hypothesis rejected. Now you see the block. Hypothesis accepted. You see, almost all are equal. 61, 64, 61. Almost all are equal. That's why the block hypothesis accepted. May be accepted. It's clear. It's clear or not? So this is construction of two-way analysis of the Clear?